curious about. Uh, well, let's see. As I butcher this girl's name, Antigon, which I don't remember that being her name, but I guess it is. Cordy is an inspiring social media influencer. She is mourning the recent death of her brother, Jeremiah, a well-known pundit and voice for progressive causes. Soon, however, she uncovers a conspiracy that throws her worldview and the fate of the planet into question. Ooh, the fate of the planet is in question. Whew. All right, so uh, a couple of things here to start. This is on Tubi, uh, so it's free on Tubi. So if you're interested, you can definitely check it out. And uh, even though it was free, I was still reached out um, and given the screener for this. So uh, that's part of the reason why I'm doing this review. So uh, just a disclaimer, but I always try to be fair um, either way. So get, getting all that out of the way, um, it is also fairly new just because it's on Tubi. I guess this was a fairly new uh, movie. I know some on Tubi are, you know, have been released previously and then brought back, but this is a fairly new movie. Uh, partly kind of inspired by uh, the pandemic and, and stuff that that everybody went through or some people went through um, and that kind of some of the ideas of this movie were, were brought by it through that. Um, so, you know, I posted a press release on Promote Horror about it and there's a good director's statement on there. Um, if I remember, I will try to keep put the link uh, in the description. Uh, with this when I when I post this um, so that if you do take you know whatever recommendation there is here or curious and you do watch the film and maybe you get misconstrued about what is happening um, to read the director's statement might help kind of uh, you know any confusion that you, you might have or we want to know where the idea kind of came from in this movie uh, with that being said um, it is a, it is a satire, which, uh, you know, I, I did look over the statement before coming on here, uh, cause it is a little bit of a wild movie here. Um, so it is a little bit of a satire here and, and that kind of thing. Um, it is a movie that's going to kind of pull from a little bit different angles. It is going to be maybe a little bit of horror, a little bit of sci-fi, a lot of conspiracy theory. Uh, maybe a little bit of found footage like you are going to get a lot of filming and, and so forth um, with that kind of angle. So uh, it's going to kind of grasp it, at, you know, a couple of different genres, kind of different things and kind of throw it all in one pot. Uh, that's what you're going to get here. Um, again, you're going to, you know, it kind of starts off with this girl who, you know, is sad. She just lost her brother and, you know, she tries to have an online presence. He obviously had one. Um, he had different social media and, and videos and things going on. And, uh, you know, she kind of announces on her own thing that, you know, he's passed away and so forth. Um, but then kind of as she does this and as she tries to wrap up his death and kind of deal with that, um, things come, you know, in her presence um, about her brother and uh, some of it is by people, you know, um, a couple of people that, that she comes in contact with and uh, others is a little bit more mysteriously. Um, she's going to be asked to do things and, you know, as she does, she kind of stumbles upon more and more stuff about her brother. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to be a little bit spoiler free, uh, I, but it might be a little hard be totally spoiler free because uh, I can't imagine most of you have not seen this movie um, you know it's hard not to say but I guess the brother is alive like I said this is satire this is about conspiracy uh, the brother is alive um, and she kind of gets uh, some hints at that uh, but she's not supposed to tell anybody and uh, this crazy kind of again conspiracy theory wild theory starts to unfold here um, and the movie is going to get stranger and stranger, stranger because of these conspiracies, stranger because, you know, what the brother was up to, what he found out, um, is it really re real or not? Um, again, you know, it is kind of from a found footage perspective. So the girl is kind of posting these videos on her social media and that's kind of what you're seeing. Um, you're seeing her take shots of things. 
Um, like I said, there is there is going to be a horror element to it, more of maybe a sci-fi element to it, um, which is kind of what her brother has stumbled onto. So you kind of see that. I'm trying to keep that a secret <laughs> as much as I can. Um, so yeah, he, the brother's kind of kind of gotten himself into something that maybe he shouldn't. And there are people who may or may not think he's alive or not, or people that want to st or know what he was up to and kind of want to dive into that and, and try to f see what he's, he's, he was into and what he uncovered. And um, so, you know, she's gotten herself into more than she, she thought. She thought she was just mourning her brother, but now she's, she's like running from people, hiding from people, trying to find out information. And also has her dad there with her and he's doing strange stuff in the background and acting weird and not all there because part of, because he's sick and part of it may be because he's maybe a little bit tied into what this weirdness that's going on behind the scenes and that I'm not going to get too much into so that you guys can kind of see. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I guess it's, it's going to be kind of conspiracy driven and how far she goes down it. And, um, you know, what role does her brother still play in everything and so forth. I, I again, kind of kind of keep that part a secret. So if you do see this, you have something um, that you don't know and, and something to expect. Um, it is a little bit wild. I think this is going to be one of these movies that not going to be for everybody. Um, obviously... You know, depending on maybe your your political view, your view of the pandemic, uh, where you kind of stand on that, where you kind of it's gonna kind of uh, take the issue. You know, where you stand on some things, uh, where you stand on conspiracies in general. Um, you know, during the pandemic, I don't want to get too much political either, but you know, there's a lot of people saying different things, a lot of theories about this, that, about you know, COVID in general, and about you know other things and. You know, we had a lot going on politically, so, uh, you know, this movie is going to kind of pull at some of those strings and, uh, you know, kind of where you fall in line on some of those things uh, might affect how you think of this movie. You might like it because it touches on some of this. You might not. Uh, maybe you've had enough of all the pandemic news and all that. So when you watch this movie, it might bring some thoughts to mind that, you you know, you're like, I'm, I'm done with this. So, you know, maybe you know, the movie will turn you off because you just don't want to go back down that road. Um, it, it's not really, it's not really about COVID or about that. Um, just more of, you know, kind of new cycle, kind of conspiracies and, and kind of drawing on fears and stuff like that. Um, misinformation, <clears throat> um, you know, do you believe things? Do you not believe things? Um, you know, things that obviously, you know, you can, Go to the social media and say almost anything and you know is it true is it not true and so forth so it's going to kind of play on a, a lot of those kind of factors so uh this is certainly going to be one of those movies where you're either going to like it or you're not uh there's going to be some strangeness to it uh like i said it is going to get really weird by the end of the movie but i i think that's kind of the point and kind of pushes you know where they're going with it um i think if you take what they're really trying to show and and do here I think they do a good job. Yeah, you know, it, it, again, it's going to create a movie that's not going to be for everybody. Um, it is certainly going to be strange at times, weird at times, and um, you know, it's not going to be your typical horror movie. Not even your, you know, maybe not even your typical uh, found footage type movie, and, and so forth. Um, but it's going to give you, you know, some food for thoughts, give you some things to think about, and so forth. So. Um, it's really hard to judge, you know, whether you guys are going to like it or not. Um, but I definitely say, you know, maybe check out the trailer, um, you know, to maybe give you some idea. Uh, and, and kind of if you're into kind of that conspiracy, conspiracy theory or the kind of driving of that or, you know, how things can go wrong or have misconceptions and that kind of thing, you know, maybe this is a movie for you. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be one that, that is going to be for some people and, and not for others. I'm going to give it 2.5 pools of blood. I, I think, you know, while it, you know, I was kind of up and down while watching it, you know, uh, certain things that I was liking, certain things I wasn't, wasn't really sure where it was going. 
um, you know, it, it, it is a lot of up and down. Like I said, you know, she's kind of getting, you know, pulled in different directions as she goes, as she's kind of doing what the brother wants her to do. And um, it, like I said, it does definitely hit horror at the end, or at least in that kind of element by the, by the end of it. It's a really strange ending. Um, but again, you know, that is the ending for it because that's kind of the direction uh, the movie is going and, and, and just pushing the boundaries of, of misinformation and craziness as, as this goes. Um, hopefully I've interpreted it in the right way. Um, again, you know, it is, it, like I said, uh, it's going to make you think a little bit and kind of, you know, what they're pushing. So if you don't really take for what it is and you kind of like, you're just sitting down, hey, I'm going to watch a horror movie. Uh, you may take it all wrong and whatever you you know they obviously have stuff to push have ideas about it and where this movie kind of came from and that's kind of what's you know kind of pushing it and if you kind of you know kind of do a little thinking then maybe you can appreciate a little bit more of what's going on here so uh, maybe not your average horror movie and uh, but definitely elements of and definitely there is parts of horror in here uh, again you know not you know big on the blood and guts or whatever but more on the mystery um, and, and you know maybe a little bit of that found footage element so yeah 2.5 pools of blood for it um, if you're looking for something different unusual to watch um, you know maybe maybe give this a try again uh, I believe it's still free on Tubi and uh, if I remember I will try to keep that that link for the press release that you can maybe get a better idea of what's going on here um, and definitely check out the director's statement to give you a clue whether you really want to watch this or not if if you need um, a little more inspiration than, than what I've given you. So uh, 2.5 pools of blood out of 5. Horrorscorereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find more of my reviews, written and video. But of course if you're just interested in the video reviews, like, subscribe, notifications, all those things that everybody wants to do. If not, no worries, no problem. Uh, it, it will really be okay. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. The same there. Like, follow, not, no problem. Feel free to reach out. Uh, talk about horror with me if you have something you want me to review. Um, feel free to ask there. And also in the comments section if you have something you want me to review, feel free to throw that in the comments section. Hopefully I will catch it. Um, and if you do catch this movie and give it a try, you know, please feel free to share your thoughts there as well. And uh, with that, I guess I will catch you in the next review, horror fans.